Hey guys, JibberJHS. We are in the month of March, which means that the new Hearthstone expansion will probably be announced sometime mid-March, so in around two weeks. And this is, will be a pretty big Hearthstone expansion. And this new year, for Hearthstone, we will have the Witchwood, Boomsday, and Rastacom Rumble expansions rotated out, which will change the meta and how everything will work in Hearthstone. Plus, the number of cards in Standard will be the lowest amount it will be, making the combos and possibilities interesting and harder to accomplish. Plus, we don't know if the new expansion will introduce a solo adventure that will give us new cards, and if it will be a cohesive storyline throughout the entire year like it was in the Year of the Dragon. That was a new thing they did and they tried out, so we don't know if they're going to do that again. And to top all of that off, we also have Hall of Fame cards rotating too, which is usually the, one of the biggest parts of the meta. Those are a lot of things to talk about, so instead, we're going to talk about just which cards I think are going to be rotating into the Hall of Fame, and which cards leaving will make an effect on the meta. So let's start. The first one is going to be Mind Control Tech. Mind Control Tech is a card that I thought would have been Hall of Fame last year, but, you know, it's still here, and I enjoyed it throughout the year. It's a card that I still think is likely to be taken off in the meta because of how it operates. Card decks like Battlecry Shaman and other decks, they love to utilize this card, and it's one where it's based a lot on chance, whereas Blizzard doesn't seem to like that as much. Now, before you at me, I'm talking about this specific mechanic. Blizzard does like to do stuff like random spells and other things like that. But this is one that can easily turn the tide to the game if you're lucky. And it can only benefit you. Random spells can benefit your opponent too. This can only help you because at least you're getting a minion in the process. So that's why I believe that, you know, my control tech is going to be taken out. The next is going to be Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef is on this list because... I've watched YouTubers and they put them on this list. <laughs> no, uh, Edwin is a card that I personally hate and it's a card I would love to see go away. Now, as much as I would like that, I don't think this is as likely as the other th two options on this list. And that's because of the strategy for Rogue is almost like a the basis of Rogue. Playing several cards over and over again is a staple that Rogue is known for and Van Cleef is one of the front runners for that. So unless the Hearthstone team is planning to change a powerful rogue feature or something like that and changing the standard kind of rogue playing style, I don't see this happening, but you never know. And number three is Leroy Jenkins. This is probably the most popular choice for the Hall of Fame right now. Leroy Jenkins is one of the most beloved characters in Warcraft, but in Hearthstone he can get qu be quite a nuisance. Uh, Leroy Jenkins is one of the best legendaries for aggressive decks and can quickly finish the game with crazy combos. But what really seals this card in the Hall of Fame is the charge mechanic for me. Uh, ever since the Witchwood expansion, the introduction to Rush, the Hearthstone team has slowly been pushing out the charge mechanic and replacing it with Rush. Personally, I love charge as a mechanic, but I guess I'll save that for later. Ever since this mechanic has been introduced, we have seen, uh, we haven't seen a single charge card from my knowledge. And since then, cards like Doomguard that been rotated to the Hall of Fame, he had charge as well. So it's not unlikely that Leeward Jenkins will be leaving the standard format and be joining Sylvanas and Ragnaros among the epic heroes of Warcraft. Well, Ragnaros isn't a hero, but you know what I mean. So those are my top three choices that will be leaving the standard format. These cards are a lot of fun and I hope at least one will stay because I enjoy them. But it's probably unlikely. I'm expecting these three to go out. Next I wanted to see what cards are leaving the standard format that will make an impact on the meta. So let's start. Number one is Zilliax. Zilliax is a card I've loved. It's a flexible in your decks and you can put it in basically anything. Plus, the magnetize mechanic allows you to, to heal at an impressive rate. I honestly think it was the best legendary in the Boomsday expansion. Without Zilliax, it's going to be a lot harder to get that quick heal while having a good minion presence on the board. And I'm kind of sad to see it go. Shadowrock, probably the most popular and hated on this list. 
Shadow Rock is an extremely influential card when it comes to the meta. Battlecry Shaman became a staple because of this card. After it was nerfed, the card was still an epic card, and when the Shaman Quest of Old Doom came out, this deck became even more powerful. And in fact, it was so powerful that it got nerfed. And then Galakron Shaman came out, and you know what they nerfed four cards and made it even weaker, and it's still one of the best decks in the game. And it all started with this card. Shutterbox spawned this deck to be what it is. So, it's been a long two years with Shutterbox after he made his debut, but now he's leaving the meta, and, you know, it's better or worse for off because of it. I'll let you guys decide that. Number three, we have Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. Dr. Boom. Hero card. This card isn't as influential since the Year of the Dragon came along, and that's because of a very harsh nerf that occurred to it. Since then, this card hasn't been played as much, and, but back when it came out, the card was one of the strongest warrior cards in the game, especially in Mech Warrior. This card was a neat card that introduced a unique hero power that changed each turn, which was something we had never seen before. This card, although not as good as it used to be, was still a fun card in the Doomsday. Number 4, Mechathoon. Although it's not a card that it's affected the meta too much, this was one of the craziest cards we have seen in a while, for it was a card that truly made players think of a unique way to kill their opponent. Plus it was just fun, you know, playing it. Like, it, it was really cool having a card where you had to empty your entire deck, your entire hand, and kill this minion where you had literally nothing. This was very cool. We've had a card similar, but nothing like this. So this was really cool to have. And there you go, guys. Those are cards I think will be going to the Hall of Fame and cards I think will make a big impact from leaving a standard format. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have another video on what I think the next expansion theme will be on and what I want it to be on. Spoiler alert, Kale Foss is in it. So, until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!